Okay, I think that I am live. Uh, want to make sure that I don't accidentally, you know, stream for a dang hour and a half with no audio again. So I'm going to just talk for a minute and then I'm going to listen. Dang hour and a half. Great. We are good to go. Bye. Yeah, they're going to the store. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> They're going to the store, so I will, uh, I'll just be playing the game. I'm thinking I'm halfway through, so hopefully I'll finish it today, and then I will, uh, 100% it maybe tomorrow, since I'll be streaming on Saturday too, as usual. Turn that down. Okay, good. It did not, did not mess up my progress. So let's see if I remember how to play this. Yeah, this game's fun. Okay, I remember. Whoop. Almost hit X. That would have not worked. It moves a little too fluid, I think, is the problem. I think that's the thing really keeping it from feeling like a true retro game, is it, it's missing some of the clunkiness of the classic retro games, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is a little too precise. the bottom, but please don't jump off. Slow and steady wins the not splatting race. Alright. Woo. Watch out for the fire. Whoa. Well, that could have been bad. Okay. Gotta get up on top. No, no. Ah. Okay. Worked out. And we got the obsidian skull. Nice. Making decent time. Of course, I'm not... I'm not trying to, uh... Get all of this stuff right now. You know? Just trying to... Get the... Basics. Doing the any percent stuff, and then, uh... Then I will come back and do all the 100% stuff after. It's my usual MO. Whoa! Ah, dip. Did not realize. Hey! There we go. There we go. Careful this fire. That stuff will a little scorch you up. Ooh. And we're going to get it. <laughs> nice. Hello, loser Louis. Or loser Louis. I don't think we've ever established which it is with you. It has been a long week. As you can probably tell from my voice, I'm a little croaky. Had a lot to do. That's... That doesn't answer the question. Because... That is... It's two pronunciations of the same spelling. So whether it's Louis or Louis, it would be spelt L-O-U-I-S. Hey. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just another spelling that could also be pronounced either way. Louis is just the French spelling of the name. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. Hey. Ah. 
fire's a little finicky, it's hard to tell. Ah, don't. I can't tell. This is one of those games where it's like hard to tell if you're going. Um. If you're going the correct direction or not. So, yeah, is it. Is it silent S or do you sound the S? Like, that's really the only way that we can find out. You can, no matter which way you spell it, it's always going to be possible to pronounce it either way. Hey. Okay, Lewis. Great, thanks for clearing that up. It's a bit confusing, but I've got it. Um, yeah, this might end up being a more chill stream, but I appreciate you tuning in. I'm trying to get back to a regular stream schedule. Um, yes, I made sure to double check that my mic was actually on, but ah, dip. My mic was actually on before I began streaming tonight. But yeah, I guess it just... Last time it just automatically... Uh... Was silent. Here's a, a... Test I might do in a second. I think I might be able to... Stream just audio from the controller. God... Dip dang to root. Okay, we gotta do it like this so I can actually... Awful. Um. And yeah, before I do... Ah, damn. Well, I got greedy. Yeah. Before I get too deep into the stream, I do want to really thank everybody who... tuned in yesterday for the impromptu drawing stream that I did. I haven't drawn, like I said, in like over a year. Um, which I was drawing like daily for a lot of that year. And, uh, yeah, it felt good to get back to it. I got it, I got it. I'm just getting greedy because I wanted to make sure to get the coin, too. As if I'm not going to have to come back through here to get all the coins eventually, anyways. Um, this way? just make that jump. Oh, bye I am. I don't know what that really does for me, but it's generally useful. Got him. I said just got me those couple of coins. Well, not too bad. Because, yeah, I did a test stream back when we first got the PS5 to be, like, to check because there's a microphone, a pretty decent microphone built into the controller. But I think, because it was silent, I think it might have been because I was streaming with it muted. So I think I will check... Um, if I can just do that, and if it was just, like, my settings were messed up. So let's swap back over there. Alright, now that we're on the map screen. Gonna go around. No, not turn on cam- there's no camera. Um... Okay, let's see. So, I'm speaking now with the mic where I would normally put it. 
and uh, we will see how that sounds. Speaking now with the mic where I would normally put it, and uh, we will see how that sounds. Speaking now with the mic where I would normally put it, and... Wow. That can't be right. That's really the wireless control right now. Okay, this is the wireless controller. Let me double check that that is correct. Yeah. And now we're switching my usual microphone. Hold on. I missed I missed the change. Sorry, just a little technical thing. Okay, I'm speaking into the wireless microphone now on the wireless controller. Sorry, just a little technical thing. Okay, I'm speaking into the wireless controller. And now I'm speaking into my usual microphone. And now I'm speaking into my usual microphone. Wow, that is actually not that different. Um, let me see how bad the handling noise is. So, this is the wireless controller microphone, and as I get closer, it should get louder. And as I get further away, it should get quieter. Wobbling around. Closer, it should get louder. And as I get further away, it should get quieter. Wobbling around. Closer, it should get louder. And as I get further away, it should get quieter. Yeah, that's not too bad. have the USB stuff set up, I will keep using that, because it does sound a little bit better, it's a nicer microphone, and it's a little more controlled, but that's good to know that I don't necessarily have to set up all the ridiculous stuff to just go straight from my controller. Uh, but anyways, yeah, let's continue with the game, and let me just double check. I'm all paranoid now. I don't think there's any noise cancellation. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, the echo was because I kept turning on my stream on my iPad. Uh, Renata, don't you dare shoot me at those lava slugs. A burnt tongue hurts real bad, you know. Um, it's just because I kept turning my uh, iPad on so I could hear the stream, but like now that it's off, it shouldn't be any kind of problem. No, oh, oh, slowly sinks, okay. Got it, got it. Okay, good. But uh, yeah, I will probably use this microphone for the most part, but if I want to do like a quick stream or something on like a Monday, I'll probably just do the wireless controller, because it actually is not terrible audio. All things considered. It's kind of far away, but like, yeah, these PS5 controllers are pretty slick. And uh, just to check something, I'm going to mute the microphone now. And now it's back on. And now it's back on. Yeah, so there is actually a muting button on the controller, which is super convenient. 
for streaming. Yeah, it feels like this is even more designed for streaming. Arrgh, I'm starting to think I, sh think I should have never set foot in this wretched pile of rocks. I fell off a cliff and I'm now stuck in a black beach by a fire lake. Looks like hell, but as much of a rotten apple I am, I know I deserve better than this. Signed, Flog Sieg, regretful pirate extraordinaire. I've got to extract better right now because my voice is a little croaky. Looks like a claw's like reaching up to grab you from out of the ground. It's a little spooky. There we go. Yeah, I appreciate the feedback. Anytime I've done test streams in the past, I didn't have any viewers because it was still pretty early on in my streaming career, so I didn't actually get any feedback and I had to listen back to myself later. You wield the frog. Stop it. Hey. Oh, that guy is a little too spicy for my frog friend, too. Come on. There we go. Hey. Stop it. Stop it. It seems like it's going to get a little, a little hey. tougher. We are only about halfway through the game as far as I can tell. Unless my rough estimate is wrong. This is still my first time playing this game. How? Was it my second time playing it? First time playing through it. You understand the gaming math. Right, let's go back. I didn't realize that that was just the way to straight on. So I'm gonna. Ooh. Ah, dip. Hey. Ah, dip. Should have saved up hot to get rid of that guy. That's alright. Hey. Yeah, this game isn't super hard. I'm just very, uh. Very reckless with my health. Maybe if I was playing it a little safer, it would not be too bad. Instead, I'm just going willy nilly. Going crazy. No, thank you. Hey. Oop, no, that's a spicy guy. Can't do that. Oh, easy, you call this a puzzle? Come on, what is this? Children's? Right? This feels like the early nether when it was basically just, there's rocks and lava. That's kind of, that's spooky, right? And it was. I was scared. That one scared me. Oh, I can still bop them because they're only spicy on the sides. Got it. Yeah, I've really only ever played Minecraft. I played Minecraft in beta before they ever had, like, potions and enchantments and stuff. And so I, I never really went back to it. I play it here and there as a lark, but I've not played it, like extensively since those days. It's fun, it's just not, I don't know. The whole like building your own stuff kind of thing is not my jam. Nah, the beta was only on PC. I'm talking like back in like 2011. Exactly, uh. Yeah, because I heard about it through various Let's Players, and it looked really fun, but then, you know, when you don't have an actual plan and you just kind of go in, it's 
kind of nothing to do, you know? It's, it's one of those games where the fun is what you make it. And, uh... Yeah, that just doesn't work out for me. Fun, for me, I just... I need a structured environment, I need a little direction. You know, it's cool to have a sandbox, but it's like... I need a sandbox with some objectives. Yeah, that's the thing, it's like, I have nothing against Minecraft, and I would totally play it on stream, it's just like... I know, I just feel so uncreative when I go in Minecraft because I'm like, okay, we're here in Minecraft and, uh, line, like this, I, do, I just don't know what to, it's a little too open, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, as I, uh, I just kind of sit there staring at the big open world and I just kind of run in direction. I'm like, oh, I found some acacias, pretty, uh, I guess I could build something, maybe, I don't know. But even when I start to build, like, the the most structured thing I ever did in Minecraft... Yeah, that's the thing, I just don't find most of the stuff that's just happening on its own to be that entertaining in Minecraft. Uh, the strongholds, or whatever they're called, where the... that you can find in the forest. Those are cool, I like that. And the raids are kind of neat. But I'm just like... Yeah, the, the coolest things I ever did in Minecraft is I would just find, like, a, uh... I'd just find, like, a mountainside, and I would just carve into it like an anthill and just start making a base like that. I mean, there's, yeah, there's horses, but the horses aren't really that interesting. And it's like... You know, it's not like I have a problem with the graphics, but I'm also, like... There's only really a couple of mobs I'm, like, super into. Like, I like the bees a lot. I like the frogs a lot. The frogs are great. But, like, the horses, I'm like, it just looks kind of awkward. You know? So, so there's a definite style shift. It's kind of like, you know, South Park, right? Early on, whenever they had, like, a celebrity character, they would... Ah, oh, damn. Anytime they had a celebrity character, they would just have, like, a picture of them that they, like, cut and pasted, right? Um... Uh, and then now it's like they will actually have, like, a caricature in the South Park style of whatever celebrity they're parodying. And it's like, it's pretty clear, you know, if they bring back a celebrity that they've had on before, like, oh, this is from an early season. Or even looking at, like, the main cast. Like, their designs are very much, like, clearly were just made, like, as the paper cutouts. Versus, like, a lot of the new characters are, like, a lot sleeker. No, my point with the horses is that they're clearly early enough that they're extra blocky and chunky. Whereas, like, something like the frogs and the bees, there's something about them that feels a little more professional. Like, there's a more professional... You can tell that they got, like, actual designers behind it. Man, my timers are all going off at once, huh? The bees precious for this world. They are very cute. Fall damage? Nope. Oh, there's falling now. Expedition Diary Day 3 continued. We are free! We managed to steal the keys and defend off the bugs that were carrying off cages as soon as we saw them. Getting tired. I wonder what kind of fiendish will pushes them to transport us this far. Ah, oh, dang it. Without a single something something. Whatever that said. We'll never know. Hey. Stop it. Hey. Stop it. Thank you. Oh, you can hit him and stop him. That's good to know. Yeah, this is getting a little tough. Whoop. Heal up. A 
be a little more focused, I guess, because I've been treating this like it's a little kid's game, which it kind of is. But this is still challenging you. Also, this... Having the free-moving camera is kind of a detriment, honestly. I'd way prefer if this had, like, a... Had a uh, steady camera. You know, because there's really only one or two spots that you can really look at it from to begin with. I'm not going to be, like, looking at the game from up here for the most part, or, like, you know, straight on. So they could just control the camera like in a Crash Bandicoot. Or just make it 90 degrees, because I just really want to chunk cha chunk because all of the... All of the world is, like, set at 90 degree angles. Whoop. So there's no reason for it to be fully free-forming, it could just be ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunk at 90 degrees, you know? But whatever, overall the game is pretty good. It's just like, one of those things where I'm like, that feels like your modern game design sensibilities blinding you to what, what really worked in retro games, like the ones that you're, uh, you're basing your designs on. The bees are doing fine. The bees were having a rough time. Like, over a decade ago, but the bees have actually been doing great for quite a while. Hold up. I got some plantain. Hold on very crinkly. I got some plantain chips. Let me cut into this bag. It doesn't want to pop open like most chip bags. Okay. That's a fat old stack. Got it on clearance. Kind of. I got it at an outlet store. Mm. Wow. Those are a lot thinner and crispier than like uh, banana chips. You know how banana chips are like really hard and crunchy? These are like really. Here, listen. Very thin and crispy. Much closer to a potato chip. Bummer. Yeah, those are delightful. I got a big old bag. Did you know you can shoot me again after a zip line and crashing on something? You can even aim in a different direction if you're crashing on. Buddy, if you would think I am I have the coordination for that. Yeah, another thing coming. Another think coming. Ah, I did the thing. <laughs> this is one of my pet peeves is people say you got another thing coming. It's come on. Pay attention to the context. It's you had... If you think this, you have another think coming. Alright, that's the whole joke. If it's another thing coming, it's like, what... Where did think go? You gotta think about the whole line in context, bro. That being said, it's much... It's pretty uh, easy to accidentally say thing. Like I just did. Ah, yo. Don't get fresh now. I could time you out any second, boy. I'm just playing. You're not being... I'm not going to time you out.
frankly, yesterday on the stream was the first time I've ever had to time anybody out. I've had to ban people a couple times. But... And I was just like, I'm not gonna throw you out entirely. There's also yesterday I was drawing, so I was kind of hey. trying to focus. Hey. So I had no no patience for tomfoolery. Oh. There we go. Ah, damn. I mean, yeah, I can I can do that. I can kick. I can bam. Hey. So don't test me now. Don't test me now. Oh. Ain't gonna go so good for you. No, sir. You gonna test me, I'll have you crying like you did a big old onion, you know what I'm saying? Ooh -wee. This frog game out here in the swamp, it got me thinking of that occasion, yeah? I need to practice my Cajun accent. It's, it's not too bad, but it's uh, it could be better. Cause like too often with the Cajun accents, they're like they're like, uh, well now nah, it's Cajun accent, but it's like no, that's incorrect. Because the the trick to the Cajun accent is a uh, I overheard this once. It's it's a combination of some things I've heard, right? I overheard some people talking about it, and one guy from New Orleans said, The Cajun... Alright, Vinny. See, talk like that is what makes me want to kick you. Reel it back now, son. Hey. Um... But, uh... Guys, the Cajun... The Cajun speak French. Creoles speak Spanish. But, uh, effectively, the Cajun accent came from uh, French Canadian colonizers coming down to Louisiana. And that's where Cajun is C A J U N BAND! No, I'm just kidding. Um. But the, uh, yeah, so the French Canadians, the French Canadians, they, uh, came down to Louisiana and they colonized. And, and so it's a combination of the local, the, lo the local southern accents, right, which are a bit non-rhotic, rhotic, and sort of drawling. And Move like that, and the French Canadian accent from up there in uh, the, the Quebec, the Quebec. You know that's kind of hard sound. Um, and I like this. You can either go the easy way with the lever, or you can try and challenge yourself to do little bubbles. So is the the Dolly Southern and the French Canadian. So you just throw them together like that, and it comes together just, just wrap all the cage on eggs and right? Show no, G. Show no, G. It's alright. Monsieur, I'll tell you what, it's fine on the cage on eggs and am I talking around? i tell you what it be. If you do what you do when you does what you does, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Yo, if you come around my place, I say we could get us a game of boo ray started. Hope you don't go boo. Or do go boo, I forget how the game goes. It's a trick taking game. That's about all I remember. Sorry, I'm just dropping stream markers out. There's a one person show over here. So I only got, um. So anytime I want to drop a marker, and I don't really get enough viewers to remember to ask people to clip things, 
But yeah, if you guys see anything that you think is cool, feel free to clip it. Come on. And I will, uh, I'll highlight it. At, um... the next week or so. And it will be there forever. I would like to highlight as much as I can, and I've been working on some highlight compilations. I've got a couple that I've done from the very early streams way back in 2020 um, that you can go check out on the YouTube, which is linked down below on the browser version. Whoop. Go. In fact, hold on, let me see if I can. Uh, well, no, that's not what I wanted to do, but I do keep that in mind. Um, but, uh, yeah, go check those out, and I plan to make more, but if you go to the YouTube and watch them, you'll see. They're a lot of work. A lot. Like, I go ham on my editing to make sure that they're extra fun. Uh oh, I forgot! I forgot! I forgot! The thing that frustrated me about 2020 is there was just a huge influx of people who were like, I just need to get a crappy USB microphone and I can be a voice actor. And hey, that's a place to start, I guess. But the problem is that everybody was like, I'll do it as a side hustle, you know, in my free time. It's like, no, you won't. It is a full-time job finding any work. See, so yeah, I found it pretty frustrating. Dang, Daru. I just found it pretty frustrating that so many people came into the scene totally unprepared and made everybody in the freelance voiceover gang look incompetent. They're like, oh, is this what it's like? Or even with streaming, a lot of people think like, oh, you started streaming because of the pandemic? No. I started streaming because I got better internet. I had wanted to livestream for quite a while before that, it's just my Wi-Fi was not strong enough. So literally, like, the beginning of March, like, pre-lockdown, by like a couple weeks, really, I started streaming some stuff here and there. I've enjoyed it. But yeah, it's just like, because I started in 2020, people were like, Oh, you did it because of what? No, no. I was always planning to. This is just a great way to perform, you know? Well, these plantains are helping my voice feel less croaky. I think Phil Lamar said something like that. That he was like, you know, having something to drink doesn't help as much with the high pitch and the smooth stuff. More like having a healthy snack. Some uh, delicious plantain chips. Plantains are much starchier than regular bananas, though. Hence why they're so very good in savory applications. Yeah, that's the thing. There's a difference between the people who always wanted to try something and they're like, well, now I got the chance. More power to those people. I'm more frustrated by the people who are like, well, I need to find a... a side gig because I might get laid off, so we may as well try this out. And it's like, dude, no. It's so much more work than you realize and you're making us all look like doofs. Oh, what we got? Our Highness, this is an important message from your loyal subject, Wintry. They're all morons. Not only did the two youngins fail to even notice the intruders, but when I alone masterfully captured them, it turns it's for naught. The flyboys carrying them have let them escape. 
the only competent one here, Quintry. I don't think that's the voice that I gave her before, but... Oh well. That's what happens when you only have, like, two lines for a character. Ooh. There we go. No, go on. Go. No, no. Ah, so close. Deal would be um, what I want to do is get a van. Um, I want to get, like, a standard cargo van, just your classic white van. Uh, put in some insulation. Just, like, the same kind of insulation I have in my booth. Carver with padding. Oh yeah. The... I'm living a van down by the river. I was like, I haven't listened to that in forever. That's such a funny bit. My favorite part, of course, being like the. <laughs> what do you want to do with your life? I want to live in a van down by the river. Well, you'll have plenty of time for living in a van down by the river when you're living in a van down by the river! <laughs> ah, rest in peace, Chris. Such a funny guy. Gone too soon, gone too soon. Um... But yeah, I want to deck it out with that, probably put some something on the ceiling, like some polyfill. Now I'll just set it up as basically like a traveling recording studio, and go on a road trip. I can upload any files uh, via my phone, have my phone as a hotspot. Yeah, road trip, go visit my family and various places across the U.S. Visit some friends. My, the cool idea I had, I want to do that, and I'll have all the good, like, yeah, exactly. Have like all the audio equipment and stuff, so I want to get just like an FM transmitter. Oh, it's him! Wow, even here. Are you going to challenge me to another race? I'm about to pass. This is too high in here. Yeah. Yeah, let's just race like normal. 
I knew it! Um... I just want to get, like, a little FM transmitter, and as I'm driving around, like, each night, doing, like, a spooky, like, radio broadcast that you can only pick up from, like, you know, I don't know, whatever, a couple miles around. Maybe we stop in, like, a residential area so that anybody might be tuning in in that area, you know? Um... Just, yeah, be like a phantom radio station that travels around the country. No one knows where it is. No one knows where it will be. I'll give a hint. Like, if you're tuning in, I'll tell you where the approximate area that'll be in the next day. But it's like... It'll probably be way far away from wherever uh, I was when you were listening before. So, who knows? I don't know. I think that'd be pretty neat. Well, it would be pirate radio technically, but I ain't gonna be doing no pirate stuff unless I find like a spooky pirate story to read. Basically, just read like old, scary stories and stuff. Um, but yeah, it'd be Phantom Radio. Phantom 509. 509 is much too uh, is much too high. I don't think it goes that high. Dang, you're a good frog girl. Can you keep this for the next time it's all good? Go my way. Well, obviously the name for it is the Phantom Signal. What is this, amateur hour? Oh man, I gotta do the whole race again. No, no, I'm gonna have like a. I'd have a station name. Or I'd be doing sort of a. sort of a spooky. horse call. Maybe a. More of a Vincent Price. Wait, where am I? Ah, dip. I went the wrong way. Yes, Vincent Price. Of course. That's just a the concept. It's gonna take a lot of investment. Maybe I could take it to Kickstarter, but then it's like, you know. Or do it, I could do Patreon, where I post up. You know, I let my patrons know ahead of time uh, the general area I'm gonna be in. Uh... Hey. Wow, cheating, cheating, bro. Um, and I'll still record it, so the yeah, the patrons would know would still get to hear it. It's just a matter of um. Oh, sweet! I still won. Yeah. The main thing would be coming up with a a station name. Or not a station name, uh a DJ name. So that I can Yeah, remain Incognitus. Incognitus. Barry Whitus. Candlelightus. Gurrixitus. Ah, this is Barry White. Hey! Ah, 
Algonquin College. Invite you this February 4th, 5th, and for the first, for the first. <sighs> Come on, Tony. I'm trying to cut a promo here. Ah, oh, this is very white. Algonquin College formally invites you to a night of. These words is all messed up, man. Got these words all messed up, man. I don't know what it is. <sighs> I don't know. I don't remember the whole thing. Yeah, easy. No, oh, what would I do if I got stuck in there? There's no real, like, death button. Oh god, would I have to back out to the map screen? That would suck. Hey. Appreciate that the lava isn't insta-death. Got all the aim rolls. Boss time, Scorchy. Yeah, it took me a little under an hour for this, so it'll probably only take three hours to beat the game. As long as I don't keep screwing up. Quite a speed run, but I'm gonna be playing efficiently from here on out. Not too much goofing. up. Come on. Come on. Let me up. <sighs> now my thumb's too fatigued now. I can't do it. I'm just trying to get to the next area. Oh, it's down there. I see. Platforming. Hey. Hey. I miss Mulligers. You could at least jump over them. Those fire tornadoes, it's out of the question. Hey. Yeah, that's not too bad. What? Ah! Never mind.
Moreno Reach. Whoa. Well. Hey. Ah, dip. How am I supposed to? I guess I gotta, gotta run hey. up. Ah. No. All right. Let's make sure it's at an angle where I can see. Hey. Good enough. Ooh, this bit, this feels very Mario 64. There's elevation change right here. Hey! Ah. Hey! Alright, let's not do the side thing right now. Don't want to be up a million years, you know what I'm saying? I can only guess that the uh, levels get more difficult from here on out. Hey! Hey! God damn! No! Oh. Hey! Wait! Oh yeah, definitely. Hey. Gotta keep going. Hey, what the heck are you doing here? Oh, well, I came to save my mom and dad. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. This is my third baby kid. Baby kid? Didn't you hear me? This is my territory, get out! Beat it or I'll beat you! Hey. Stop it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold that on. Oh, he's got a very short window. Yeah, I'm gonna need a couple tries of this guy. This guy's tough. This game could use a dodge roll. Hey. You know? wasn't the time. Maybe I already hit him. Hey. Hey. 
Hey. Okay, no, I don't need to. Ah. I would much prefer to play Dark Souls. Well, maybe not. I haven't played Dark Souls yet, but that's definitely on the docket. The whole series. That's definitely a series I really want to get into because it looks so fun. But it's also like... It's not one you can really take up casually. Frog build, is that a thing? I've gotten better. Haven't taken any damage yet. Hey. Just had to focus in. Well, spoke too soon. I didn't double jump, I just jumped a second time. Such perfect timing that the animation looked like a double jump. That was intentional. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, how many are we doing? Oh, he's tired. Hey. Focus mode. This big bad beetle borg ain't gonna get me. Whoa. Whoa. Please don't. There we go. Whew. That was real close. It would have been nice if it was a little more clear about what was causing damage and what wasn't. But, whatever. Frog boss. I see. Alright, I got some gummy worms. A little dessert after my, my chips. Close. 
Ah, oh, come on, that wasn't it. All right, let's try it like this. Yes, there we go. When in doubt, follow the coin. Classic Mario move. Uh, it's not a safe way to do this. I'm missing something. One second, I gotta deal with a thing on Discord. Sorry about that. Yeah. Well, that feels right. I can reach all the way across. I didn't even realize. Hey. Yeah. Oh, okay. Watch out for those guys. In fact, if I time this out, would they have been on the bottom? This point. 
So how's everybody doing? Any plans for the weekend? Ooh. My plans for the weekend are to collapse into a friggin' pile. I'm so exhausted. Hey. Yeah, it has been a long week, which is on this good thing in a way, because it means that I've been, you know, getting stuff done. But at the uh, other end of it, you know, I want to get my uh, movie, Hi. my movie review year-end video done. Um, it was like two. Hey. Yeah, finish. It'll be like two hours. Right now it's like two hours fourteen. Just pretty wow. dang. Oh my god. Ugh. It is pretty dang long. Even doing the pretty simple editing that I'm doing, which is just, like, jump cuts. And adding in, like, a single graphic or two. You know, no, like, m major motion graphic stuff. It's still gonna probably take me all dang week. I already worked on it for a couple days. This week, and I'm barely halfway through the first pass. Worst part being that they, I get like no views on them. Most of my views end up being on unboxing for like games that are just off the Kickstarter. And I get that, like more people care. Man, I put a lot of work in all my videos. That dang, uh, that, uh, sequelitis response video I did. I put so much work into that. That was like my most ambitious video. I think to this day still one of my most ambitious videos. And it's, it's you know, it's not doing awful, but it's like, man, I really wish more people would uh check that one out. I put a lot of work into it. Uh, it's called Zelda sequelitis response. Oh. Number four million, in case you're, hey. you'd like to check it out. I'd appreciate it. Like I said, um, that or like anything in my whiteboard game videos, because yes, they're instructional. Like they teach you how to play specific board games, but there's like a lot of goofs. My whole goal with it was to make something that is both instructional but s still really entertaining. I think I accomplished that. Oh my god! Ugh. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that I find infuriating in a game. It's when you get to a point where you just keep having to repeat the same area over and over again. Not necessarily because you died, but because you keep falling back down. Like I'm right next to the flippin' checkpoint, but I just can't get to it. There we go. Oh my goodness gracious. There we go. Holy jeez. Christmas. Jacqueline Sassafras Jones. What am I to... Thankfully, I have unlimited attempts. Is 
That can only do you so long. They're spiky boys, I can't. Am I supposed to go to the side? I think that's the deal. Yup. Sneaky sneaky. Sloppy. It's a good way to lose. There we go. Man, they introduced this mechanic so late in the game. Of like zipping. After you've already zipped. I already kind of figured you could, I just didn't try it. Didn't try it too often, but now it is required. Oh, whoops. Hold on a sec. There we go. Okay. Computer was all kinds of gift up. These boys are not crumbly, so I gotta worry about them falling out from under me. Oh, and there's the level end. Let's just be reckless. Yeah! Speed run! I see, those blocks only appear under certain uh, circumstances. Hey. Oh, dang, speeders! Did you see that? These blocks only manifest physically when you're near them. I don't like magic. Wow, what rude, Mr. Frog. Hey! Mein Frog Gun. Mein Fraulein. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this style of platform situation. Expedition Journal Day X. Turns out the rumors were true. There really are ruins out here. Everyone back home doubted me. Told me I'd never be able to make it out here on my own. I'd love to see the look on their faces when I come back with more treasure than I know what to do with. Especially when I learn they're not getting any. Stephen M. Well, that was actually. Ah, oh, thanks for tuning in, Vinny. It's good to see you join in the streams. Be sure to, uh, if you got like Amazon Prime, be sure to link it to your Twitch, and Ow. you get a free sub every month. And uh, appreciate it if you use that on me. Um, but you can do that whenever you know. But yeah, anybody who has a uh, Amazon Prime, you can do one free sub a month, just like for free. It's just part of your Amazon account. There now, watch yourself. Hey. If you're gonna talk like that, you better put your money where your mouth is. And actually subscribe to the channel. There's many different packages, and they're all uh, of quite affordable. That's all I'm saying. 
But yeah, see you later, Vinny. Have a good weekend. Hopefully see you on tomorrow's stream, but who knows. And I sure hope I'm not going backwards. No, I don't think I am. It'd be messed up if it pointed you in the wrong direction after you fell. Ah, dear. Uh, he's thinky. No thanks. No thank you. No thank you. Ah. Ooh, that could be part of a speedrun tactic. Baiting that guy over so that you get that little skip. I don't know if it end up being worth it or how much how much work it ends up being to get him over there. Hard to see, hard to see. Hey. Be careful, Renata. You never know what tricks are afoot. Ah, ah, sneaky. Is boing. Oh, and let's just get this iron rolled. It doesn't look like it'd be too hard. That's it. I figured there'd be like a sneaky wall that pops up or something. Ow. Whoops. Yep. Perspective messed me up on that one. Didn't realize. Oh, okay. That's the th thing with blocks like this. You can't do stuff like that because I'm like... Am I supposed to wait? Or am I supposed to try for it? And by the time I'm there... It's already kind of... Too late to react, you know? I've got quite a few coins. And more stuff revealed. Hmm. Let's get a Kiki's visor. Kiwi hat. I'm guessing that's from another game by these developers. I'm not familiar, but it looks quite cute. Alright, alright. Oh, spoilers. Be 
big boy crockfish. Here we go. Make my slug. They move slowly on their bellies and make the floor warm afterwards. Not fun to pat though. Angry make my slug. Why are so angry? They're literally fuming. A big dragonfly with a hot temper. Acts like a stereotypical delinquent from an anime, so I'm sure he's actually a big dork. Special attack. Blazing tornado. A boosh. Uh, whoops. That's one. And medals, we got... Looks like two more bosses. And not too far. Let's see, one, two... Looks like three more levels to the fifth boss here. All right. I'm going to take a quick break, so don't go anywhere. Don't touch that internet dial. I'll be our back with more Froggen in just a minute. Okay, okay. Okay, I want to test something really quick with the audio, so let me see what happens when I do this.
Okay, and now I unmuted my microphone, so I should be heard again. Great. Okay, let's continue. Uh, wait, I was already on the next level. Great. For that matter, let's turn down the iPad because it doesn't need to be that dang loud. Hey. Ooh, spooky rat. It's their deal. Hey. We just gotta get him from the back. So we're looking up. Those floating skulls look like good platforms. But I might spike some of them. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah, I see. Help. Nope, that's not where I was trying to aim. Up. I see, we gotta wait until they look up. Okay. Bam, bam. Whoops. Okay. Well, I don't mind, we're just any percent for now, so. Whoops, whoops. Ah, dip. It's kind of frustrating that the frog gun only goes straight forward, you know? It'd be nice if you could, like, Spider-Man, Indiana Jones it. Help. But no. Not for you. Not this time. Not again! Yeesh. That was difficult. Hey. Ooh, I want that note. Mm, the notes are fun. Expedition Diary Day 4. We've reached new depths in the ruins. The only light here are ominous blue flames in the distance. The engravings in the cold bricks are grim. Brutish! I wish I could study them more, but now our priority is to return to the camp with our beloved daughter. Oh, Renata, please forgive us for taking this long. Lily helps. I don't like Lily Pad. You do. Know. I hope you do. <laughs> Knock it off. Hey. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Now it's not explaining. It was taking so much time to explain the ones that were obvious at the beginning. Then now, when I'm, like, a little confused by some of these more complex enemies, it's not taking any time to... Well, let me know. That's a little frustrating. Am I... Oh! Oh! I see. Whoop. Nope. I mean, that was correct, it's just it's the wrong time. I 
I sure hope the final boss is her parents. Wouldn't that be crazy? Wouldn't that be a twist for the ages? This area seems to be full of hidden chambers. Have you been keeping up with their door switches? Yes, I've been keeping up with the door switches. Don't worry about it, my good frog. Wow. Watch out, it's a bet. Yeah, this is when we just start getting pallet swapped enemies. Woo! Okay, woo! Coins, coins, coins! I gotta wait anyway, so I may as well swing back. Zabam! Sebastian from the Little Mermaid. Under the sea, darling is better. Down where is better. Take it from me. Upon the shore, this day. I should stop before I get copyright claimed. Under a sea. Not a sea. Just any sea. Oh, jeez. Well, that's actually pretty tough. So we'll skip it. For now. terrible, but it's... Uh, I guess it's a little underwhelming, you know? It's not bad. It's well well made. Ow. It's cute. It's kind of... I'm getting the same kind of feeling as Turnip Boy evades his taxes. Or Turnip Boy commits tax evasion, that's what it was called. Where that was like funny and cute, but it was just... It was so short, you know? It never quite had the chance to flourish like I, I felt like it could have. Hey. It was just like a little bit more. You know what? Hey. That's... Whoop. That's fine. It's fun. It's still a good game. It's just a bad sass portion. It's small smackerel of the uh, do you say video game? Oh, I can't reach. Woe is upon us, for the deity we've been worshipping is evil and eager. It's egoistical. The temple has been built tall and deep, yet the four messengers sent to answer our prayers have only brought pain and destruction. We shall seal. The rest is ineligible. Bye bye. Mm. That's like. The best sound effect in the whole game is the sound of you hitting those pots. Boom, 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 boom. It's good. Oh. Ah, dip. Ah, I was pointing the wrong way. Hey. 
Yeah. Uh, the ghost pets. Hey. How? Come on. No fur. The enemy placement's starting to get pretty brutal. Oh, come on, dude. Okay. Ooh. Ow. Ah. Dip dang to rule. Dip dang to rule. Gotta wait for the correct moment there. Okay. Ooh. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. That section was very tough. But we got hey. You mean the other guy. Uh, what's his name? Timmy? I I should have learned his name. He's dead now. You can't tell us. If you don't know it, I don't know it. Who's going to tell his folks? I guess we'll never know. I guess they'll never know. Oh, Walls. Nice. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Pop him. Clop him. Stop him. Hey. Hey. Ow. That's the thing with the disappearing blocks, man. It's like... Am I waiting for the disappearing blocks or something else? This is a frustrating mechanic in any game. <sighs> oh. Ah. 
what that basically means... Well... Yeah, you have to get, like... 100% half of the levels up till now. Oh. He's shivering. Is he scared? What's up, pal? And here. Yep. Oh, hey there, Jake! Hello, frog girl. I bet you didn't expect to see me here. You're right on time. It's honestly amazing. And annoying. I'm a master of surprise. Not at all. Hey, we fancy for another race, frog girl? My name is Renata! Renata! Great way. Great, great thing to have right after the beginning of a scripted event. How? Ugh, that's an so annoying. I'm putting it so close to the wall so that you can just, you can just not. Mm. And of course, I'm not going to be turned so I can see it. Not the first few times, at least. Get out of the way, buddy. Hey. His snake can do things that mine frog can't. Hey. Hey. Uh. Ooh, I see. How? Crap. Do the whole thing again. You gonna put super challenging platforming in there? Hey, hey! Out of my way. I mean, this is as far as I can tell, like, the second to last race, so... Hey. It makes sense that it'd be tricky. How? That, however, is, like, the most annoying part of these races. When he just gets in your way. Move! Dude. Hey, hey! God. Hey! Hey! You can't make them, like, a physical obstacle. When I'm trying to get ahead of them, I can't get ahead of him if he's just literally in my way the whole time. Hey! 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 Whoa. Hey! Oh my god, hey. I can't get ahead of it! I can't get ahead hey. of it! I can't stop, it's a race! Hey! What? Oh my god. Hey! 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 Oh my god, get out of the way! Hey! 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 What did I even hit there? annoying. Hey. Okay, I actually got ahead of him that time. Dude, I hate those parts because it's like it's 
it doesn't just snap. It gives you a full range of movement. Hey. So you can't just snap to the thing you're trying to aim at. So most of the time you're just gonna hit like 45 degrees. And just slam back into the wall you just came off of. But, of course, it puts you on a skinny little bridge. Hey. Are you kidding me? That's what I'm talking about. This didn't... Like... You don't need this crazy range of movement. I'm sure a speedrunner loves it. But me as a casual fan, it honestly makes the oh. controlling so cumbersome that I have to slowly twist the frog. Like, it goes quickly, but it's like... Especially in moments like this, I need to be able to snap quickly oh. to the thing I'm trying to hit. Especially because I do not have time to adjust the camera, and hey. half of the time, it's like a blind shot. Hey. I can't oh. even get this first part. <sighs> Whatever, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let him get ahead. I don't care about winning the race, I just want to get to the end of the... The level. Hey. Oh, are you kidding me? Not even trying to rush it there. we go. Fine. Hey. Hey. These spikes are fucking hey. impossible to jump over, dude. Nope. Hey. Is that... Hey. No. Down? No! Oh my god! I have to get this all in one shot effectively. Hey! Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to jump over some of these obstacles, man. Yeah, the only angle that really makes sense is this weird, like, cocked angle here. Oh, oh my god!
Ooh. supposed to get over these spikes, dude. The hitboxes are insane. And then the camera in this portion sucks. To twist and twirl it all over the place to even be able to see anything. Ah. Oh, God. I mean, it took till this is the fifth out of, I think, six worlds to, like, actually get that hard, but, God, this is so annoying. Hey. Ah! It's the camera. It's the camera that's pissing me off, because the camera should just snap to 90 degrees, but instead it slowly twirls, and it's just... It's so annoying. to try and, like, aim this thing because it doesn't just snap. The world is built with these square pieces. All of the levels are designed with these square corners, but then you move freely. It's like in uh, Animal Crossing. New Horizons, where you have, like, you have free movement, but you place things on a grid. This area. Hey. Oh. oh my god! There's no checkpoints! Just give me one, dude, before a crazy platforming thing where I don't even know what they expect you to do in that area. Yeah, I don't know what they expect you to do in that area, and even getting there to have an attempt is so ridiculous! Careful not to go too fast in this race because then you'll bump into the fire because you go faster than the obstacle. Yeah, it's impossible to get through that part without <coughs> bumping into at least one spike. And don't get on me with your speed run nonsense of like, oh, I did it. No, I get it. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know what they expect you to do with those skulls. I can only try it, like, once every, like, 13 tries, because the beginning is so annoying! Dude, this is like a freaking like, Mario Maker troll level. This is ridiculous! You gotta give me a checkpoint! Okay. 
No! No! <sighs> Just none of the levels have given me this kind of trouble. This is literally the first time that I've had any major challenge, and it's just so ridiculous. I expect you to get through all this nonsense in one shot. Hey, 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 hey. Shut up, Loki. Hey. Hey. Nobody cares. Focus mode. Hey. Nope, you get two shots before you fall. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, is like I've tried to ignore him and just throw the race, and even that doesn't help. Hey, you still have hey. to get through it in one shot because they don't put any checkpoints in the races. They introduced the concept of, like, grappling between uh, multiple spaces before you land, like, so late, and now they expect you to be amazing at it. Like, the, there's only been, like, a handful of levels since they introduced that concept as, like, a requirement, but now it's like they're expecting, like, the most advanced uses of that concept. It's so ridiculous. Alright, I think I have to just hold. Hey. Hold. Nope! <sighs> That's the thing is I still don't know how I'm supposed to get past that part. And I've only been able to get there like four times. Because hey. this level is so ridiculous. So I can't even like practice it. By the time I get to it, it's already too late. What are you doing in my house? Who's there? Ah, oh, dear. This level is ridiculous. They expect you to do crazy, like, speedrun tactics during a race. Like, I've tried to, like, throw the race and ignore him, and even then, I can't, like, get through this thing. I've tried, like, 20, 30 times already. I don't know. The annoying thing about racing him is mainly just that he gets in the way. It messes me up. I'm like not even trying to think about him. I'm just trying to do my own thing and he just keeps... Like thankfully he doesn't do any damage. See what I mean? You gotta do stuff like that constantly. That's the whole like level. Ugh. This stuff where you go faster than it so you have to stutter step. Can't get over the spikes. Consistently? Hey. Yep, you always get hit by at least one spike. Gotta do some kind of wacky camera stuff there. And then we're getting over to here. Okay. Okay, that's what they want you to do. I literally had no idea what they wanted you to do in that area. Oh my god. Here we go. Hey, you're good, frog girl. You can keep this one, but next time it's all gonna go my way. Oh, love and cheese pastry bites. Oh, nice. All right, done with that level. On to the fifth. Cabarrus. Into the thick of it. Dude, I was singing Disney tunes earlier. Hexy. <coughs> Hexy.
Uh, in the... Um, over by the pharmacy windows. Could you not find them? No. Nope. Hey. No, it's a health thing. Yeah, but it's not health. It's nutrition. Those are different. I think you'd be better by the dusty stuff, you old crone. You old fogey. Correct. True. Ah, crap. Sure. Yeah. Uh, was it always Nickelodeon? I mean, I know there was the Japanese one, but I think it was on Fox for a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Oh. No one here. No shoes. They don't deserve shoes. Uh, do you even know the local cobbler? No, I don't. Well, then it's your fault he's out of business. Cause he's out of business, cause you didn't, you didn't partake. You didn't peruse. Yeah, like cobbling. Have you, where else do you get your cobbling? Hey. You ain't cobbling. Yes. Hey. <sighs> no. Loki, quit hey. drinking like a friggin' loon over there. You make hey. it so much noise. She can drink any time. She's a fool. Her water is always there. She, this is her fault for deciding to do it when it's gonna pollute my audio. <clears throat> Just, yeah, this idea of the precision hey. frog gunning, like, you had the tools, but they didn't introduce the need for it until so late in the game, and now they're, like, putting all the most ridiculous challenges they can right at the end, after they've only barely introduced the core mechanic of the game. Like, this is something they should have introduced in, like, the first world? Not world like hey. four. I know it's like, oh, it's difficult to do. It's like, yes. So you need to introduce it early so that people get used to it early. That's the idea. The more difficult a mechanic, the more, the quicker you need to get people used to it. 
if it's gonna be core to your gameplay. You can't settle people into a relaxed, like, oh, it's just like a, a nice little platformer, and then actually it's a really difficult precision platformer where the world that you're platforming in is based on 90 degree angles, but you move freely. So even with the aim assist thing going on, it's like, it's just absurd. It's just an absurd challenge to just suddenly spring on the player so late in the game. Literally. Here we go. Hello! Is anybody home? Welcome, brave child. Is a spider. I am pleased to meet you. Such a brave, resourceful child. Reminds me of myself. Uh, a long time ago. Please, don't hate me for this. It simply shall be done. Not if I can help it. Nothing. I'm Harmon. Dan Harmon. Bog standard. Oh, look it up. You got a phone. You got the entire internet in your pocket. Use it. Do you know if it's in there? Have you checked? That's not how it works. You gotta check. Like, actually. Yeah. If you're gonna speak on science, then you go to study. Spire. Whoa. Watch out, Scabble. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got a little bird hat. This will look cute. <laughs> they do a lot for me, personally. Oh no. One HP left. Watch out for ball. Ball, ball. Ah, drop it. Bam. Ah, thank goodness. First try. Was that? Makes what? Yeah, no, you can make it. It's not that hard. No. Yeah. Gateway to the core. Okay. Is that the Minimade? Yeah, they got those at the, the movie theater. I tried one. It was okay. It was different flavors than they got in the stores, though. There's an order in which you have to open up. You don't gotta take them nothing. They didn't earn it. Expedition Diary D 
day four, a giant spider appeared before us, which didn't seem hostile at first. With glee, we shared a small conversation on the rune's history. But as soon as we tried to continue our way, she apprehended us. Well, guess we'll never know. What are you talking about, old man? Yeah, they presume you watched the thing that the sh show is. Hey. Oh wow, you're oh. gonna be spoiled to my little pony such deep storytelling where you obviously couldn't tell that there's gonna be magic. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, catch up. That happened in the last one? Yeah. They took too long? They took too long and simultaneously not long enough. Yeah, it slaps. It just shouldn't have been so, like, quick. It shouldn't have been in a half season after not building it up at all the entire season. In a single episode, they did it. No, she wasn't. She was not. Just like, going towards that, like, they were not very clear that that was the goal. This is a CHILD-FRIENDLY STREAM! Well then he needs to stop because they're gonna not hear him. Hey. Trying to... Do a dang frog and hey. You're frogged in your dang life, old man. <sighs> Which one was that one was pretty good. There was one of the GBA that was pretty good too. But it was uh you moved like Frogger one space at a time, but you had to go across like big areas, so it was like kind of intolerable after a while. Did, did you play that one? That's what I'm saying. Oh. Were you talking about the one you haven't played? You don't even know. Because it's a completely different, like, framework of technology. What they had to. They literally could not fe fit the PS1 onto the Game Boy. It's just not possible. Game Boy Advance, even then they couldn't. Maybe, maybe the original DS, but nothing more early than that. Oh. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Yeah, the PSP could handle PS1 games, but that was way more advanced than a Game Boy Advance. Yeah, but there's more to it than just the bits. Like, a, like every game that's on the PC right now is 64 bits. We haven't gone past that. So, if you could play... Like the current games on the same framework as you did N64, there's other stuff going on. Yeah, DS had some stuff going on. 256. Wait, no, maybe. I don't know. I mean, the computers say 32-bit, 64-bit for most of the programs.
256 could refer to the colors? I'm pretty sure programming wise we're still at. Whoa, this place is gold as hell. So shiny. And this is a trap. I know how this goes. Gems! Hey! No, it's hey. curse room something. Eden free tales! That's what he says in Aladdin. Arrgh, it seems I can't leave this place anymore. It's just as that wretched spider said. I'm condemned to stay here forever within the temple's area. So listen to me, sister, and restate their tone and help her with the stupid... I got impatient. Can you blame me, though? Can you really blame me? Don't do this! That! Stop! Stop! Whoa! Who's this guy? Oh. Hmm. Don't encourage her. Don't make her think that she's allowed to live! Am I supposed to go? Hey. Hey. The level is out of control, man. I can't even tell what's happening. Is this it? Is this where I want to go? It's absolute lunacy. There's so much going on. I think I want to... No, I do want to be over here, I think. You don't Minecraft? Hey. When? That's not real. I never heard of this. These big caterpillars are tricky. You hit them from the front, they'll attract faster, but they bounce off their heads and they reach other places. Oh, is that too much we got going on? Whoop! Wow, that's really hard. Once again, a mechanic they're introducing way late in the game that's, like, super difficult. Come on, man. You don't make the mechanics more difficult, you make the level design more difficult. Oh. That's... It's, like, standard. Hey. If you make... If you introduce a ton of new... difficult mechanics right at the end... I have no time to get used to them. Frickin'. nonsense. When are they gonna put Billy Hatcher on Switch? Y'all ever play Billy Hatcher? Scott. Oh, what? This was just a secret area? This wasn't where I was supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go then? Ugh. My least favorite part of any game is the where do I go section. Okay, I need to get that button. There we go. I 
yeah, exactly like what you could have figured out from the context. Hey. It's wait, no, it's Stan. Hey. Sure. Yeah, it was being self-deprecating to put hey. the guy at ease. You gotta pay attention to the context that it's used in. No, the prince said standard, and then the old man said bog standard. And then he repeated it when the owl was giving him sass. Yeah. That's what princes are for. What you think anybody becomes royalty without murdering some people? That's literally how royalty works. Then they're wrong. They're wrong! They're gonna get you banned! Well, I got the obsidian skull at least. Yeah, okay. I don't think I'm gonna 100% this. It's... These last couple worlds are a pain. I can't imagine trying to 100% some of them on stream. I might 100% them in, you know, in my own time, because I'm enjoying this game enough, but... Quit razzling the boy. These blocks appear and disappear really quickly. Be sure not to fall or be caught inside. Wow. There we go. I'm not trying to go anywhere fancy. Just trying to get to the end of the game at this point. It's the fact that I keep running into all sorts of bonus stuff is a little obnoxious. I don't want that right now. Ow. Whoop! Not figured out the timing. Okay. I don't think it dragged me along with it. Hey. 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 There we go. Damage boosted. Wimp. Oh, come on. Dog water. Come on, let me up. Oh, come on. Let me up. Maybe it's because I'm getting impatient, but, uh, hey. I just want to be done. At this point, it's getting late. Alright. 
Ooh, and there's a special little third block, eh? Okay, okay. Whoop. That, I hit jump. Oops. Too early. Here, checkpoint. Hey. Checkpoint is all I need. Hey. I'm just on a checkpoint to checkpoint lifestyle right now. The way forwards through the doors and up this tower, so there must be a way to open them. Oh, they're yellow. Hey. I'm gonna find the yellow switch or the yellow lever. Hey. Ah, there it is. I was supposed to grab the bat. Hey. I don't know, that's the way I came here? Yeah. Hey. Whip. Whip. Hey. Whip. Whip. Hey. Damn it. The fly! That's one of the most annoying things in games is when you get followed by some random enemy while you're trying to do something way more difficult and they're like, that enemy by itself? Not that difficult. But then they're just getting in your way and you're trying to do something complicated. Oh, come on, dude. How am I supposed to get the perspective right? Ever. I hate the free roaming camera on this. It's so unnecessary and it actually more often than anything screws me up. I would much rather have a fixed camera, like most of the Mario games still do. Oh. Or if not fixed, at hey. least like locked to specific hey. angles, like having a free roaming camera just means that I can never find the correct angle for the bit that I'm doing, and it just makes oh. everything pain in the ass! Out of here. Finally. Whip. Womp. Whip. Womp. Whip. Womp. Whip. Womp. Whip. Womp. Whip. Womp. Whip. God, you can't just throw some spikes like that, man. Come on. 
whip, womp, 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 whip, Ah! There was no checkpoint after the... The only times that I'm able to do crap like that is when I find the perfect angle to be able to actually see what I'm doing! But finding that angle is so difficult! It's also frustrating that the guiding shadow that's God damn it! If you get both of those at the same time, then it doesn't give you the second bounce that you need. That is actively just something wrong with the engine. But yeah, the guiding shadow only appears sometimes. Not when you're trying to, you know, fall off of something and might need, you know, a shadow to guide where you're about to fall. No, it waits until you're already falling to be like, oh yeah, this is where you're gonna fall. Thanks, guys. Real helpful. Just have a round shadow. Mario 64, we figured this out. Like, why are there so many 3D platformers who still don't get this? You don't need to have a, a shadow that matches your character model. Literally, just give them a round shadow directly underneath them, as big as the character model. Super simple. I don't know why they're doing just this little highlight thing. It does not help in the way that just a round shadow would. That is consistent constantly. Like the fact that it only appears when you jump makes it less useful because you don't have the time to get used to it. You can't have a section this difficult and then not have a checkpoint after it, dude! Come on! I'm just gonna keep spinning my wheels over and over having to do this because every time I get it, I miss on the next part because it's so hard to get to that part to begin with that I can't practice it! And I didn't get my bounce there, again, because... <sighs> the way that the engine does the bouncing! Hey. It's just, it's a cute idea, man, but the frog gun is actually not a very strong mechanic. It's honestly super finicky, especially with the way that they implemented it. And it's really never felt that, uh, yeah, it just doesn't feel at any point like I'm actually getting better at it. It feels like I'm still struggling just to 
make it do half of what I want it to. know what I'm supposed to do when I get onto the purple one. Hey. Like, what do I do at that point? Because hey. I've, I've barely even been able to get to it. N See? Hey. Look! I just don't get a bounce sometimes! And if I don't get the bounce, I'm just screwed! I can't hey. make it! Hey. And that's not my fault! There's nothing I can do to make sure that the bounce happens! Hey. That's purely up to the physics engine. How? Sometimes the bounce isn't enough. Hey. A three by three platform. You guys could have dropped a block in the middle so that I could frog gun over to it because hey. it's the main mechanic. It's the name of the game and you didn't even bother to implement it in here oh. so now you have a chance to do it. Like that's in reality. That's why I haven't gotten used to the frog gun as a mechanic. Is because they haven't even given me enough opportunities. Any time where it's like I could frog gun here, instead they've just decided to not let me because that makes it slightly more difficult. But instead, that means that I don't get a strong relationship with the core mechanic. Your level design cannot supersede your core, like conceits. Your hook. Okay. Now I need to actually figure out what I'm doing on the other side of this. Don't even need to do the purple. Ah, there we go. Jesus. Why is there 
four checkpoints right at the beginning. It is hard in this place. Looks like here's where all of those coins are smelted. Let's not get smelted ourselves, okay? Oh, it's four different... I see, it's four different areas to, uh... Bounce around. Hey. What? Come on, move. What? Oh, come on. There we go. Oh yeah, it's four areas and then you... Okay, you're opening them up as you go. That's... that's fun. Oh. Okay. It sure would be nice if I could get the camera to go to a place where I can see. So I'm saying, hey. you, it's just one of those things they only put in because it's easier to do in modern programming. Because there was probably already an engine for it, but it's just like... Having a free, mo free range camera, free roaming camera, is actually bad for this kind of design. They designed it around not having that. Because they knew they would not have that. That's what I'm saying. So, like, this design is aesthetically like games from the PS1 era, but by having stuff like that, by not having a C-button camera, it actually functions a lot worse than older games. Just annoying. These rings, they're not difficult to dodge, but it's like they come at such a clip that it's like, come on man. I don't need to do this. That's my bad. That's that's my bad. Even if I am cursed to stay here, I at least had my dreams of fortune turned true. This place is full of gold. An old parrot is bound to a place forever, though. So I guess I'm no longer Flog Sieg, parrot extraordinaire. Who should I be now? Hey. 
knock it off, dude. God. Oh, yeah. God, more of this disappearing, reappearing block nonsense. supposed to do there. Hey. Hey. Yeah, that's the frustrating hey. thing in a game when it's like How? the level design is so convoluted that you're like is this the way I'm supposed to go? Or is this like some kind of secret area that I don't actually need to be right now? Hey. Like if I'm having trouble figuring hey. out the basic flow of the standard level I think that's a good sign that it's a little, little too busy. Like, you should hey. have secret paths and stuff, but, like, they shouldn't hey. obscure hey. the, like, standard path. So what do I... What do I do there? I can't get high enough. It clearly goes super high, but I don't know what it wants me to do. Nope. Nothing to grab over there. Like this is genuinely it feels like friggin' Mick Kids. Where they like there's a point where you have to like run like all the way back in a level to the beginning to pick up a conveyor belt they've never told you you can pick up to take with you to the end of the level, otherwise you just can't go any further. And there's nothing telling you to do that. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? Do I grab onto, like, the side of the stairs and, like... Hey. Bounce from there? I don't know. Would you look at that? If I lock it off to a side-scrolling position, it's way easier to do all this nonsense. Maybe it should have just been fixed to that to begin with. There's freedom, but at the same time, it's like if you can tell that the entire experience is going to be improved. If the camera is positioned in a specific place, just make it happen. It's not rocket science. You want it to be a better experience for the players, so find the best experience. Make it happen. It's not like there's that many other options anyways. All the other options just make it more difficult. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. So if I grab this, then there's nothing else to grab when I bounce over.
like, yeah, what am I supposed to do? I'm just, like, stuck doing this. Just missing something hey. obvious? What is... what am I supposed to do here? It's like the second jump in this entire, like, area. Ow. It doesn't get you far enough and there's nothing to grab onto. So what... what am I supposed to do? There's literally hey. just nothing to do. Holding the jump button. Hey. 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 This is frustrating because I know if I look up a walkthrough, it's just gonna be like, just jump across the crystal. It's not that hard. You know, the most unhelpful crap in every walkthrough where they're just like, this part's not that hard, so just do it. It's like, buddy, that's not what a walkthrough is for. <laughs> care how easy you think it is, you detail every bit of the game in excruciating detail. That is what the walkthrough is for. For the dunces who couldn't figure out something that's probably super simple. Look at that! Couldn't make it! See, that's the thing, it gives you a ton of extra height, but it doesn't give you any extra distance. I need to be able to go another block further. Alright, let's see what the walkthroughs say. Pause it so it quits making that noise. There's no walkthroughs for this. Are you serious? Not one? Yeah, there's just links to pages that could have a walkthrough. That's a review, that's not a walkthrough. I guess I'll just give it, like, five more tries, and then... Yeah, there's just no walkthroughs. I guess there's, like, video walkthroughs, but I don't got time for that. I guess I'll just keep giving it a try, because I just... Just 
got to be something I'm missing. Ooh. What is going on? Okay. Hey. Just yeah, there's nothing else. It's just me, this crystal, and too much distance to cross with this crystal. baffled I have no idea it seems like a pretty standard jump hey. but it's like just not happening Ow. seems like something that frankly should just not even be difficult at all hey. so what am I what am I to be Yeah, it's just not enough, and there's nothing to grab onto. Am I supposed to grab one of the guys on the hey. side there? I don't think... pretty sure they'll bring them to me and not the other way around. Hey. Look at that. Oh. It gets you so close. You're like, a, just right... You're right there, but it just doesn't do it. Hey. Triangle jump? What? Hey. I guess... Yeah, okay. level at which they expect you to be hey. doing the frog gun grappling at this point is so ridiculous. Ow. At what point do they think that I figured out how to do this stuff when they literally introduced the idea like, what, hey. like 10 levels ago? Hey. Hey. Yeah, I, no, I get that. I missed it the first time, and now I have to get back. Ow. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, hey. you have to go... Okay, so I have to go around the hey. obvious pillar. Hey. This is what Ow. I'm talking about. This is poor level design, where it's like... What looks like the obvious path is actually like a side thing that you have to come at from the other end and the way they expect you to go is like so convoluted like I see what they want now they want me to ignore the one straight across and do this stuff but they never that's what I'm talking about man like, why would I think that that is the thing to do? Hey. And not just get, like, jump to the next platform. Instead, I'm supposed to skip the next platform and just keep going. <gasps> okay, I hit jump! Nothing makes me more frustrated than when I'm... Doing a platformer and I can't jump when I hit jump! There. Oh my god, okay. Hey! 
There we go. Jesus. That's not his name, Francie a new hat. Or no, that's not it either. It was Francie a new hat. Yeah, something like that. Now oh, she's taking pictures. Mm, let's check the bestiary. Skull rat, so dark and moody, they carry a big spiky skull, skull on their back. Where do they find that stuff? Cultist boy. A magic bug. That's so nice. It must have been so hard to learn. Good for them, good for them. Bat spirit. It looks like a ghost and even has little flames running around it. I'm sure it's just a normal bat. Or is it? No, it is. Or is it? Armored boy. Look at them. A helmet is like a full suit of armor for them. Try to look imposing, but that only makes them cuter. Hopper. They look like giant grasshoppers, but there's no grass in this part of the ruins, so that makes them just hoppers. Bigapede. Intimidating for sure, but they're big pushovers and will retract when you so much as touch them. Poor things. Then Hexie. She seems sad about having to fight me. I don't know how to say it, but she seems like a wise, caring person. Also, a giant spider witch. Special attack, forbidden spells. Oh my god, this jerk. Spiders? Alright, Jake. Hi there, frog girl. Even if you beat me to the treasure every time, it seems we didn't need to race after all. Yep, I told you I wasn't here for the... Because there's enough gold for both of us. I never wanted the treasure! Whoa, really? And why else could you be here? I'm trying to find my parents! They got lost in the ruins! Quit killing that cat. Okay, save the board, Rodada. Help you rescue them. Come on, let's race to wherever your parents are. All right! Wait. You don't know where they are! Or even what they look like! Oh. Nope! Brought this on yourself. Hey. Then don't feed him until he's behaved. Hey. And he will remain excited if you encourage him. That's what you think. Son of a... Hey! Hey! I'm not even trying to win this race, I'm just trying to get through. Hey.
expect you to do this at speed. up now. I'm so close to the final boss, as far as I can tell. Hey. Hey. God, they're teasing me with that checkpoint. the way she jumps, too. It takes so long to, like, gear up. Hey. And, like, hey. similar to Jack and Dexter, it does not go. Look how short her jump is how? compared to the animation. It's just frustrating. Like, let her jump further. It's the thing that made Hat in Time such a joy to play because they let you jump a ton and then do more stuff that let you go even further and have more control over your jump. Like, if you're making a platformer, you gotta make sure that your platforming is solid. I was still moving in the... I wish it would just skip the scene automatically after you've done it already. Like, it's not that hard to program in. This is their 15th time playing this level. We don't need to have the cutscene. You know, maybe we don't want to annoy the hell out of our players. My favorite thing in the world of gaming is a really difficult platformer, but the thing is, it has to be difficult because the level design and the actual controls are super tight. This has clunky controls and annoying hey. level design. Ow. God damn it! No part of it is hard because of the actual effort put in to make it, like, satisfyingly challenging. It's purely hard because the controls suck! You can't control your character!
Hey! Jump! God damn it, there should never be a point in your platforming game where someone pushes the jump button and it doesn't jump! Hey! It's just hey. basic programming, come on! Like, I'm not surprised that this was a Kickstarter success, because on Kickstarter all you need to do is make a game that looks like it would be fun. And this did seem like it was going to be fun for the first half, but now that we're actually in the weeds of it, it's actually not great. It's pretty, pretty, pretty obnoxious. As soon as the main movement mechanics are put under the scrutiny of any level of challenge, they fall apart. Damn it! Loading pap tats. God, why would you put that there? Why would you put a single... A single block gap? Ah, right at the end of all that nonsense. Okay, where do I go now? Oh my god! Oh my god! I was at the end! Hey. I was at the end, but I couldn't figure out where I was supposed to go again! Bad level design! If I can't figure out where I'm supposed to go, especially when I'm in a situation where I have to decide real quick or else I'm gonna die... That's bad level design. Signpost! Come on! It's pretty simple. If 
What the fuck? <laughs> now I guess we can't even walk in a straight line without falling off of something. Go, just go faster, dude. Hey. Win the race. Please. Just want you out of my way hey. so I can finish this crap. Yeah, this is like Mario Sunshine. It's one of those things where the first few levels are great, and you remember them fondly. <coughs> but when you actually replay the game, you're like, Oh no, this is actually a nightmare of difficulty and messed up physics that just make it an absolute nightmare to play! Oh my god. Grasshoppers are the most obnoxious enemy. You can't grab them to get them out of the way, but they definitely get in your way constantly. I'm sure this is a more difficult way, but honestly, the easier way looks like it's going to be way more of a pain. It's going to require... You just... If there's no frog gunning to be done, you have, like, no control. You basically are at the whims of whether or not they decide to put it in a place where you're going to fall anyways. Controls are too stiff for you to have much agency over where you're actually going to land. God, get out of the way! Do you want to win the race or not? Get out of my ass! I'm 
No, that's just for him, so I do have to do it the hard way. You're so fast, I bet you'll save your parents in the blink of an eye. Okay, I still won at least. <coughs> I won the race somehow. Despite fumbling and stumbling the whole way. And then this should hopefully be the final boss? Yeah, looks like it. Beelzebub! Oh, oh no! That's not child-friendly. All right, before I do that, I'm going to take a quick break. Freshen up, do a stretch. Stretch your legs, everybody. Do it some jumping jacks. That's what I'm going to do. Get some water. Be back in just a minute. Yells above about to get his Beelz a butt kicked. Let me make sure my audio isn't messed up or anything. Okay. Here we go. Just, I don't care about all this side stuff. Let me go. I just want to get to the boss. See, I'm and stuff like that where you're supposed to flip the camera 180 while you're in the middle of a jump. It's frustrating. I don't know why they expect you to be able to do stuff like that. Poor level design to expect people to do something so convoluted to be able to get any kind of a leg up. Hey. Get these flies out of here. Because she did a little twirly, I didn't get to actually go on the, the platform, I see. I missed. 
my chance to go where I need to go. Because she was doing a little cute animated twirl. God, will y'all just die already? I'm trying to just get to the next part of the level. And then this crap that they expect us to do. How? Or not? How? I'm supposed to jump on his head, right? Because I, yeah, there's no way otherwise How? to get over there. It. There where we go. Oh my god, yeah, I hate this. They've only let us do it like two times. So of course there's no way I'm used to it. I have no idea what the timing is because it seems pretty inconsistent. You gotta get to like the last pixel here. This is stupid. Why is he so far away? There's no need for it. He could have been one block closer. It would not have made it any, really, any easier. Or rather, it would not have removed the challenge to make it possible. I wish I was... I wish it was a little easier to see... the outlines of these blocks. That'd be nice. Nope! But yeah, over this yellow... It's kind of difficult to see the tiny little sparklies. Also, they picked red and green. The most colorblind, like unfriendly colors possible for these blocks. Like, why would you ever think to do red and green? Inaccessible. Inexcusable. I don't like it. God, I hate hearing these guys shriek! Stop! Oh my god! Let me get over the thing! This timing puzzle sucks! Man, I've always hated timing puzzles in general, though. Stuff like in Braid, it's like, I get it, it was a cool idea, but I kind of hated that. It's just like, I don't know, I get why people might like it, but I'm just too impatient to wait 
over and over for some guy to trundle along in the way that I programmed him to, like, ten minutes ago. And when it finally works, it's not that satisfying because I already knew how it worked a while ago. Alright, here we go. Satan! Papa! Mama! Mom! Dad! I'm not a deer. What are you doing here? It's dangerous. My little tadpole, are you alright? How did you come? I've come to rescue you! Uh oh. Oh, Beelzebub is the Lord of the Flies. I get it. Well, 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 let me barge in this channel of family moment. I am Beelzebub, Lord of the Flies. You want to go home with your parents, I assume. Too bad. I'm gonna use them to finally complete the ritual. I, by the way, I hate this font. Because, like, question marks look identical to exclamation points. It's like the tiniest bit of curve. I've been planning this for centuries, and I've always been short of humans that might take it out. As for you, I'm not even going to let you watch. Hey, Rodada, Snatch and me are gonna try to open this piece of junk. Don't worry about us, kick his butt. All right, let's go, Frogan. Let's go. All right. Yep. He's just squish. Uh oh. Am I supposed to do some other? What exactly was I supposed to do there? I think I was supposed to put him under him to like burn him, maybe? Hey. This is absurd, hey. man. I need a quick move. My only quick move is the grapple, but there's nothing to grapple onto. Like, I need a dodge roll or something to let me like get away from the really fast attacks, but just don't have the option. Like, you, that's the thing about fight systems like this, you have to, like, have the option to be able to, like, dodge quickly in some way, or else it's just gonna feel so unfair, which it does. Okay, uh... I don't know. Let's get him under him? Maybe? Oh, yes, I see. It's sparkling. Ow. Oh, the sparkling. And I can't pull it off the side because I'd have to be off the side to do that. All it's got is pulls, no pushes. Although, according to physics, there is no such thing as a pull. You're just pushing it from the other side. Only one action to be enforced on another object. Yeah, okay, you just got pull it under him. Okay, that's not too bad. And then to dodge these, you just kind of got to be at the other end so that you can... Swip, ...swip around. Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he's doing the thing like the first guy did. That's cute. Or not the first guy, but the... ...second guy. I wish the music was, like, a little more hype. This is so chill. Just kind of someone noodling on an electric keyboard. Get Seth Everman on the track. The guy knows how to make a boss. Mm. 
Whoa. Hey. Oh, jeez. What? Whoa, okay. That move's a little ridiculous. Focus mode. We're gonna finish this. We're gonna frog and finish it. Yeah. Hey. The range on the frog gun is pretty tight. It's also yeah, where the sound effects. Like when those blocks are blowing up, doesn't it feel like they should just be like whoosh or something, you know? Now only one of them can be moved. Oh no. Ah, dip, I missed my chance. Hey. Like these, they're just kind of like whoosh. It's like a tiny little thing, it should be like, Coco! Like this guy banging around, it should be like, bah, 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 You know, it's just... Hey. It's a real hey. Sparrow's, like, hey. soundtrack. Well, how'd I get up there? That, that feels like there should be a huge, like, poosh, whoosh, 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 when it does that, but it's like nothing. Ah. That was just unlucky. Hey. See, that's the thing though, I don't mind this because every phase I pretty much get the chance to try the phase out and practice it. Versus, like, yeah, when I'm platforming with no checkpoints. If I just can't get through a part... ...consistently enough, it means all the parts after it I get no practice on, and I feel... ...annoyed that I only get one shot at it every, like, 20 times I try and do it. In boss fight, I'm like, okay, this is fine. As though this, this feels like... The range for the uh, hey. frog in hey. should be a lot longer for this bit, so I can hey. actually like do that, which feels hey. like the way I'm supposed to be able to dodge it. Again, it feels like I'm supposed to have some kind of quick dodge, but that's like the best I got. I just, genuinely, I just couldn't have dodged that. It was on me before I even had a chance to react to it. You have to have some kind of quick dodge, hey. man. If you're gonna have, like, ba uh, boss battles like this. Hey. Like, yeah, I'm gonna be able to do it with enough practice, but, hey. like, the entire time I feel frustrated that I can't just do a pretty simple thing like a quick zip, especially when I have a gun! A grapple gun! That, like, literally, the core conceit of the game is that you can zip around! But you can't. You can't most times. If the amount of times that you're actually able to zip around is pretty slim, and then they expect you to do it perfectly. Like, it feels like they had a pretty bad core philosophy on what about this game was fun and how to get players to the point where they could do it. Ah. 
feel pretty safe in the far corners. Hey! But I'm hitting it! Let me zip over! The stuff like that, too, where if you're close to a wall, you just kind of stay on the wall that you're already touching. It's like, dude, you didn't think that that case would happen a lot in this game about grappling? You didn't have a plan for it? What? What? Crap. See, and that's only my second time with the buzz saws. Hey. <sighs> yeah, it starts you next to him so that you have to slowly hey. run over to the other side. Now, come on, man, put some walls on the hey. thing. The likelihood that I'm gonna accidentally walk up is so minor. Compared to the lack of agency I feel not being able to zip around with my grappling gun. That's the, the whole point of the game. Hey. Hey. Like the frog gun itself should have just had a much longer range. And they should have given you a lot more opportunities to actually use it. Outside of times when you absolutely had to. Okay, first phase, that's the first boss, Prickly's deal. And the next one was the, like, water skipper. And third one, that's pretty much Wintry's thing. I mean, not quite. It's a little more hardcore. Why are these coins blown in the wind? How strong is this wind? Yeah, this face sucks. Hey. Oh, come on, man. Hey. The corners are mostly safe, except when they aren't. Hey. Come on, dude! Zip! Hey. How would even hit me there? Side is the saw is coming from? What? Nope! I picked wrong! It's a one in four chance, basically, and if you don't see them in one of the two sides you can actually see, you just gonna have to guess. Kinda just gotta hope for the best. Yeah. They won't be able to get you in the corners. Oh come on! What hit me? The spikes on top of the block that I was next to? That is baloney man. Are you kidding me with that? He always goes to the side you're already on. 
so that you're basically guaranteed at least one hit when you only got, like, six. Oh, oh, god damn it. Thought that he was pointing to the site he wanted to do it from. Okay, are we good? This should be the last phase. Yeah, parts of this game feel kind of unfinished, like they forgot to put stuff in. Which I guess, that's kind of how, like, games of the year they're aping were sometimes. But you can't use your genre pastiche thing as, like, a crutch for why your game is kind of sloppy. Hit me there. Like that, there's definitely supposed to be a sound effect there. They just forgot to put it in. with my camera. How was I going to dodge that? There's no way I could have moved away in time. No, god damn it. What? Okay. Nope. Keep the Look at that. She didn't even make her death noise. There's all kinds of wonky stuff in this boss fight. Thing, they give you a ton of time to dodge stuff, but it's like, it doesn't really matter how much time you give me between, because if in the moment I still can't move fast enough, then it still doesn't feel like I have control over it at all. Hey. 
Like, Head in Time, it's like... Stuff in that game is brutal. It moves so fast. But... It's all moves in consistent ways, and you can move yourself in consistent ways. So, like, you can control what's happening, and you can control your fate. It never feels like you're just stuck and you have no options. Like, right there, what was I supposed to do? I was just stuck. I could see death coming, but there was nothing I could do about it. Whereas in hand time, I could... Dodge, I could roll away, I could run and jump, and it would be hard. But at least if it didn't happen, I'd be like, okay, I just didn't do it in time. Versus this, where it's like, no matter how quickly you do it, sometimes you're just screwed. Like there! Because by the time you see it, the time you start moving, you need to have started moving before you could have reacted, because stuff is moving too fast for how slow your character moves. Hey. The second phase is the most difficult one. Consistently. Just hoping to get him stuck in a corner. Hey. Ow. Oh, the trails hurt me? The trails of smoke hurt me. Okay. I don't remember that from that boss fight, but okay. Stuff like that, like where I have to slowly twist all the way around. Remember, he's pointing the way it's gonna go, and not the way he wants it to come from. Which would make more sense to my brain, but whatever. I'm not the Lord of the Flies. gonna do here. Whoa. Oh, okay. Just rings. I can deal with just rings. Oh my god. Then I got one more. Nope. I need to not jump when he's doing the- what? Oh, come on! <sighs> it's just there's so much of it that is still up to luck no matter how well you do that it's frustrating because then it just becomes an endurance game of can you- maintain enough life and get lucky enough to have enough life to get through this onslaught. Hey. Sounds like it's cute to have him do the stuff from the other boss fights, but it's like I only fought those bosses like once or twice. And it was a long time ago. Hey. In the case of this one, that was like the entire game ago. Let me, let me, Froggen! Let me play the game! Oh, 
this bit is just tedious. It's not like it's gonna be hard to do that after the first few times. Pet died. Well, thankfully, it'll show me chat in the corner. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? I was behind it. Hey! I was behind it! Cheating. There. Are you kidding? If you're just not in the range of, like, allowable areas, then you're just screwed. I don't know where I put my phone. Yep. Stop. I'm already screwed. With losing one or two health this early on, you're just screwed. Reset to checkpoint. Alright, let me find my phone so I can have chat and stuff. One sec. Okay, let's keep going. It moves fast enough that by the time you see that it's coming towards you, you're already moving into it. Like, how is that fair? What am I supposed to do about that? Jeez. Oh, it's so far away. Oh my god. Make sure you're square behind it. So what's with him doing that? I guess because it's his ultimate attack that he's 
queuing up for, but it looks like it's gonna hurt you, and then it don't. These segments are so much easier than the ones before them. Aside from the second one, which is ridiculous and annoying because there's like no way to dodge. You kind of just have to hope that you set it up so that he's not going to hit you to begin with. Again. Whoa. What? Oh my god! What the? <sighs> I get it, he's gonna do all of them at once. Haha, <laughs> cute. <laughs> Be cute if it wasn't so frustrating. Twice in a row because I literally couldn't reorient. tedious way to hit a boss. I haven't missed it since like the first or second attempt that I've done. Genuinely, the only reason it's like this is because they have to have the gimmick of the frog gun. Do something in the boss fight. Oh my god! What was I supposed to do there? I was literally directly in the middle. I tried to go to one side, and I was not able to make it in time. It was literally not possible for me to get out of the way in time. Because I... It's not like the other way would have been faster. I was just screwed because I was in the place when he had already fired. And no, I'm not going to remember all of these patterns. Because they're not consistent. Look at that, he has to hesitate for a minute to give me a chance to run away. Because they recognize how ridiculous... ...this whole thing is. Ah... Uh...
Didn't have time. Didn't have time to get around it. Real fair, guys. Like a cluster of three directly on me. What if, what am I supposed to do with that? It's coming straight at me. I'm basically screwed. I can only kind of dodge the ones that are only half at me. What? Okay, that was my bad. I should have hit the jump button, but still, man. It's ridiculous. You can't dodge in time. It's too fast. My short little child legs. Now it doesn't even use the whole leg. Look how slow she runs. God. Yeah, the strategy there is to get him into a corner and then run to one of the other corners as fast as you can in the hopes that he won't end up there. And it's still just kind of luck. Unless you want to, like, work out the angles on the fly, which sounds ridiculous to me. Yeah, when it goes into this chill piano bit, it feels a bit, uh, dissonant with what we're seeing. Keep forgetting that those can still do damage to you. Even though, again, not much of a way to dodge it. See, again, it's like something like I want to be the guy or battle kid or whatever, where it's like you're basically just Mega Man controls for something that is like Super Meat Boy levels. Like, the idea is that it's so ridiculously difficult. And most of that comes from the fact that it's just absolutely ludicrous. Like, controls. What? Oh! What was I supposed to do? Like, as soon as he started coming there, it's not like I had any ability to react. He's going so much faster than me, I'm just stuck. basically have to get to that part with a ton of health because I'm gonna lose at least two in that in that phase. Yeah, 
down. God, hey. no! Hey! Oh, and I didn't get hit by the fucking smoke trail because it hasn't left. And I couldn't move because he was gonna be right there, so it was either take damage from that or take damage from him. So I was once again stuck. I just, I miss when games like this were made by actual studios and not, you know, just a few dorks who got a Kickstarter together and have no experience. That's why It Takes Two was so fun, because it's like an actual studio making a platformer again, and they did an incredible job with it because they actually know what they're doing! They aren't struggling with the bare basics and using it as a learning experience that they expect people to pay for! Like, you practice before you start selling games, guys. Come on. Your first game should not be ones that you're selling. Man, and this is just pure RNG, really. No way to tell what's gonna happen. If he gets in here, then I'm I'm just done for. Okay. He didn't. What are you doing? Whoa, what was that? What was that? Yeah, there's no room for mistake. If you start going the wrong direction, it's already too late to correct. Infuriating. Yeah, so much of these phases is just getting yourself in position so that you're not going to die as fast. Again, like, I, I can't dodge them when they're too side-by-side side if I'm already in the center of it. It's like just a foregone conclusion that I'm gonna die. You can't dodge that. Your character does not move fast enough.
came right for me. Ah, uh, and the smoke trail! So it's easier if you tilt the camera back, I guess. You have slightly more chance of actually seeing it. Which is, once again, a reason that there shouldn't be the free roaming camera. Like, why is it not just a fixed angle? There's rarely any time where you want any other angle except for one. See, I got just totally lucky there. I didn't have any control over that. Oh, it's that bit that the, that the spider did. Oh my god, last health. Last health. What is this? What are these? What was that? I guess I was supposed to frog gun over it? <sighs> yeah, those bits are a lot more manageable with the camera tilted way down. I just, the frog couldn't have been like, hey, tilt the camera down. Or something, man. Like, I get it, you're trying to make it, like, retro, but, like, you can still do modern stuff sometimes if it makes the game better. Hey. God damn it. Immediately hit me. And of course the frog gun doesn't work when I need it to. Just yeah, instead of making it the core thing that you actually use, the frog gun ended up being mostly a gimmick. It was not actually that useful most of the time. Hey. The how? How was I supposed to make that in time? With the frog on, I guess. <sighs> Alright, do it, yeah, big whoa, and then go, go up, go up, thank you. This part is so annoying. There's just like, after you figure it out, there's just no challenge to it at all. You still gotta sit through it every time. Hey. 
God! Nope, resetting. I can't take two damage in the first phase. You can't take any damage in those phases, basically, if you want to get through this. You have to save all of it for, like, the very end. Because the last phase has a ton of RNG and other nonsense, and you still have to figure out what the hell they want you to do. Because it's your first time finally getting there, after going through all this nonsense. Yeah, what was I supposed to do there? There's like... So much of it is still luck. No matter how much you plan it out. Good RNG there. Didn't even have to move. Like, it's just... It's frustrating, because when you play, like, a PS1 game that was like this, you can be like, well, video gaming was still new, 3D gaming was still new, they maybe didn't know all the best practices, but it's like, no, you have so much to draw from, you can look it up, you can... There's a million things that could have told you to make this better, just because it's supposed to be, like, a bad game, basically. Like... Those games have charm because you're like, they made it happen under the limitations. They were scrappy. But then this, it's like, oh, they were scrappy, all right? Scrappy too. The one everybody hates. <sighs> Man, I think scrappy's pretty good. Whew. I need to give my fingers a rest for a second. Oh, he glitched out. Oh, he glitched out of my favor. Oh, thank God. Oh, God damn it. I didn't glitch out of my favor. What? God damn it! What am I supposed to do? Grab the skulls and just keep up for, like, who knows how long? That's not something I can just, like, do on a whim, dude. It is something I have to plan for in advance. Hey. You have to write a friggin' contract for each of these goddamn jumps.
Okay. Don't do a 180, man. That's all I ask. The 180s are brutal. Just didn't do it at the right time. Apparently. Because all the particles there make it real easy to tell when you're actually gonna get hit. Gotta make your hitboxes clear and clean. Stay over there. Oh, thank goodness. God damn it. God damn it! This is like my 50th attempt. This is absurd. The others, they might have taken me a bit, but like, like ten tries total. No. No, I just gotta finish it, man. It's like right here. It's the final boss, dude. He's right there. When am I gonna get another chance? Just, I'm locked in, I'm focused. Oh crap, 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 crap! Haven't taken any damage yet. Hey. Knock on wood. Yeah. There it was. Hey. What the? I was behind it! Oh, there was like one pixel of me sticking out. That was too much. Oh. 
can't let my stuff fudge like that, but no, this guy is allowed to have all the leniency in the world. Yeah, I just... The hitboxes just seem to change in tiny ways. Or maybe I just never truly understood them like I thought I did, but like... It definitely feels like I've gotten hit outside of my hitbox. Like, they feel fuzzy. And I don't feel like they're a solid, just, like, wall. This is just pure luck. Pure luck. Okay. What am I supposed to do with that? Okay, now here's the skeleton skulls. What am I just supposed to do? Am I supposed to literally stay up by bouncing off of the frog gun? It's not gonna happen! I'm not that good with it! I've never had a reason to be that good with it! You can't just drop a challenge like that after this crazy onslaught like we're gonna be able to practice it more than, like, twice. That is out of control. You can't drop something that ridiculous. At the end of a massive rush of ridiculous phases, and expect us to just figure it out on the fly. And the fly is. He's fly. Oh my god, nothing but 180s! I jumped ahead of time, but it was t still too late, I guess. You have to jump before... Like, way before you even think you need to. You have to work out the trajectory of it. Like a friggin' year in advance. not hurt you while it's going out. I'm gonna say that right now, that was unnecessary challenge. I can't keep rotating the camera while I'm trying to run around! It just doesn't work! 
Why do they think you can do that? The camera and the character move too slow. They move at different rates as well, so it's not an option. I'm not gonna try and fine-tune my camera while I'm also trying to run around and dodge and jump. You out of your mind. This is not a game that has led up to that level of challenge. This boss is way too hard for this game. literally in the third one in the middle of three like I was just there was nothing I could do there's not enough time to move from between two of them to the outside. There's no way you're able to move that far in that time. Damn it. Hey. I didn't even get a chance to jump over it. I know I've dodged those before, but I just can never get it now. What? I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with the skulls. I'm not going to be able to jump between them. That's just not a feasible thing for me to do. That's just, I don't know why they think you'd be able to do that at this point in the game. Jesus, they just completely overestimated, like, how well people could pick up their freaking controls. I mean, okay, they, they nailed one thing. They nailed how clunky and crappy most, like, PS1 and 64 games were. Like, there's the standouts, but the majority of them were like this. <sighs> My god. Yeah, that's just it. This is gonna have to go in the same place as Mario RPG. I can't finish it. I can't. I can't! There's no way! I can't get there enough to practice that part. And I don't know what they even want you to do. There's no walkthroughs online. So that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Check out my socials down below and we're gonna raid over to somebody. My voice is completely shot. Which is great!